hi and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Zig the program guy and i develop apps in this video we're going to learn about how to create a simple calculator all right i've prepared uh, about 16 buttons already for this tutorial so you can go ahead and add your own buttons it's very simple to add all you need to do is to drag and drop here i did this because i want this video to be very short okay um in this part of this video I'm going to show you how to add numbers to these buttons and also how to make these buttons how to create a custom buttons that will look exactly like that of your calculator you have on your Android phone all right all we have to start doing now is to add uh, is to number our buttons right away so let's go over to the attribute and change the names from button to the numbers we're going to be using so we we'll start with nine and the next one will be eight seven six One. Now this one will be equals to. No, let's make that one to be clear. This one will be zero. The vision sign. Right now we're adding the arithmetic signs. So we change this one to addition sign. This one with division um, subtraction sign. Multiplication sign. And this one is going to be the equals to sign. All right. Having add, added um, all the numbers and arithmetic symbols needed. So the next thing we have to do now is to create a custom button. That will make it look like exactly like that one you have on your android phone so all we have to do is to come over here and expand um, our rex folder and then we have to create a new drawable file Come here and add a, create a new drawable resource file. So let's say custom custom calculator button. click OK and then here we're going to change the selector to shape
or in between the the ship we're going to add a gradient I'm going to say gradient come down and then define the color for center. and we're going to be using a white color So it that color is going to be white, and hashtag FFF is the health code for white color actually. So let's go down to the next line, say Android and color, and the end color to be equally white. Then we define another attribute, which is um, in the corners. Sorry, we have to close this. Close this. Let's define the attribute which is stroke. Color is going to be a little bit dark. Say hash zero zero zero. Come over here and choose a lighter color for dark. Okay, now we need to define the width. Let's say 0 0.5. 0 0.5 dp. dp. Okay. So after getting all this done, sorry, now after getting this done, the next thing we have to do is to create another new drawable resource file. And then we're going to name this one the fourth the fourth button. So we're going to leave the selector like this and then come and under uh, below and say item go down. Android drivable and then here we're going to mention our custom button and then close all right now let's go back to our main activity main.xml then we're going to add that button to all we're going to add that um, custom calculator button to all the buttons we have here so I'm just going to come here and say Android background. Now our custom buttons will come here. So all I have to do is to copy this Ctrl C, paste it in all of them. Control V. Control V. Control V. 
Ctrl V. Ctrl V. Ctrl V. Ctrl V. Ctrl V. Ctrl V. Control V. Control V. Okay. Now let's go back to design. Check if everything is looking fine. Okay. Not too bad. All right. Now, having done this, the next thing we have to do is to give um, all these buttons. Uh, an ID we need to give our buttons an ID but just before I do that I want to tell you that if you wish to increase the size of these buttons you can do that if you want all right so now we're going to start with button 9 come over to the attribute and say let's say btn 9 Then we'll move over to button eight. We'll move over to button eight. Let's say BTN, BTN eight. Move over to seven. btn7 over to addition btn add over to button 6 say btn6 over to button five it and five move to button four it and four it and BTN sub and BTN one BTN one BTN clear. BTN 
zero. Btn div. Btn equal. All right. So let's see. Wow, they're looking beautiful. Okay, now having done this, um, the next thing we have to do is to write the Java code for this calculator. But that's actually going to be in our next video. So please subscribe to this channel so that you can be able to get access to the next video that will be coming up soon. All right. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.